Welcome to River Ramp Chattanooga. This is the end of the last service of the second day, and this is Winter Ramp Behind the Scenes. I'm your host, Joe Reeser, and I am so excited because I'm here with one of our guests, Lyndall Cooley. Thanks for being with us. Good to be here, man. So, yeah, Thank it's you. awesome to have you. So I have a couple questions that I'm sure you're wondering about as well and that I want to ask you. And the first one is we've, we've had the chance to be in a couple worship services together. Right. And I've noticed something that you that you do that I've seen you do a number of times, and it, it's it's really incredible. And you you really enter in time in worship where you really start to put a, a demand of sorts on the people to draw a song out of them, and you create environments where you want you want each individual person to sing. Right. And so the the question I, I had for you was, what is important about an individual person singing a song instead of just letting the worship leader maybe do their thing and I'm just kind of here rocking back and forth. Why is that important for us as believers and worshipers? I think, I think Joe, Joe, the thing of it is, is worship is about the Lord. It's for the Lord. And he wants to hear from his people. When we come together corporately, you can listen to a CD at home. It's not a like a spectator sport. It's not something you just sit there and go, oh, I just want to watch you do what you're doing and, and bask in this moment or meditate on the Lord. Sure. It's an opportunity that we get to lift our voice together. And I think worship has moved into direction, not, a, not all together, but there's a, a dangerous place where we take the voice of the bride away. We take the voice of the bride away. And our job as worship leaders is to return the voice of the bride back to the bride because he comes to hear the beloved sing to him not to hear us play he come we're there to undergird as a worship leader as a band we're there to support the worship of the bride not to get in the way of it so we start it right we start it we kick off we do upbeat songs get everybody in the mode Reason, the reason we do those fast songs at the beginning is to get our bodies convinced of why we're here. Because our mind knows why we're here, our heart knows why we're here, but our body sometimes doesn't. Wow. So we have to get our body moving and go, okay, you're here to praise the Lord. Even my bones, the Bible says in, 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 uh, in uh, Psalms, even my bones will praise the Lord. So we tell our bones, you're here to do this and Come you're going to do it whether you like to or not. And so we dance and we hoop and we holler and we sing, but there comes a place where he comes near and the Bible says he sits among the praises of his people. So when he's here and he's sitting, what are we gonna say? Are we gonna just go, that was a nice song, I'll lift my hands. You'll notice the people by nature will fall off in just a few seconds after the end of a song. They're waiting on the performer to perform the next song. Wow. When the Lord is sitting among us going, now what do you got to say to me now that you have my attention? Goodness. So we have to release the bride to sing to him. And so if they don't do it by nature, we pull it out of them. Come on. And we make something simple enough that they can join that in. Is powerful. And, and if, you know, as worship leaders, if we'll make ourselves vulnerable and create something out of thin air, then they'll go, well, if he's crazy enough to try that then in front I can of all these people, let me give it a shot. Come on. And it just frees them up. You know, it takes all, that, takes all that off. You know? That's powerful. And, it, you know, that concept just <laughs> makes me anxious to know if, if we have some, and I'm, I'm sure some of you watching are young young worship leaders, young musicians, and for those that are watching in that place, what if you had one main piece of advice to give them, what, what would that be? Uh, along those lines, it yeah. would, Joe, it would probably be, find the place in every set of worship where you need to disappear. Just find the place where you need to stop and you need to turn it over to them. Because again, that's the most powerful moments. The most powerful moments is when everybody does this together. Yes. And, not, and, when, not when we're leading and you're watching. And here's the danger, and I don't want to ever say anything. People go, well, he's an old guy, and he's just, he's hard, and he's mad, and he's, <laughs> I'm not any of that. I'm just saying this. I've got a lot of man hours. I've got a lot of saddle time in, in worship, <laughs> you know, through the years of revival, all those years of worship, a lot of time. And the thing that I see about worship moving that bothers me is our own vibe. We're kind of caught up in our vibe. We're caught up in our sound. We're, it becomes self-absorbed. It's all about how I presented myself, how did I do this, and even prophetic worship can become more about each other. 
Well, the bottom line is prophecy is prophecy. Worship is worship. You can prophesy and worship, mm -hmm. but it needs to keep focused on the Lord because He comes. We don't want Him to go home disappointed. It's that simple. Wow. <laughs> Wow. Incredible. Let's go Powerful. worship some more. Powerful. And I, I want to remind you, and we've talked about this, uh, talked about the presence of the Lord uh, so much on this behind the scenes, this conference. And I want to remind you that the same presence that's in this building can, yes. can be there where you're at. And whether you're in your room, you may be in a dorm room, some of you may be gathered in a church as a youth group. And I want to remind yeah. you that as you enter into worship, as you draw near to God, the Bible says that he'll draw near to you. Yes, he will. And so thank you for tuning in and being a part of this. We'll have some more behind the scenes tomorrow. And be sure to tune in tomorrow because we'll have a whole nother day of awesome. Winter Ramp Chattanooga. Thank you so much. See you guys later. Bye-bye.